Hi, this is Bobby Kelly from Alpha Check Wires, and what I'm gonna do is show you how to set up a recipe on your check wire. Okay, so to set up a recipe, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into the select menu. And in the select menu, we have up to 100 different programmable recipes that come standard on the check wire. Right now, we're in recipe one, but let's say you wanted to jump to recipe number 50 and set that up as a program. We can do that. From there, you go into quick setup, and you have to enter a little bit of information to teach the check wire the product that you're looking to weigh. So for example, for the product name, we'll call this T because when we calibrate the product, I'm gonna do that with cartons of T. The packet length, our check weigher does come with a ruler on the draft cover. So if I get the length on the product here, it's about four inches or so. It's important to tell the check weigher the correct length of the product because it needs to know how long of a package is coming across the weigh table to be able to take the correct number of weigh samples to have the most accurate measurement possible. Uh, this is also toggable, the weight type. You can either weigh in gross or net weight. Today we're gonna weigh in gross weight so we don't have a tear weight. The next step is to do your conveyor speed. Um, this check wire is calibrated anywhere from 17 to 325 feet per minute. Uh, we'll go, we'll say 100 feet per minute for today. And lastly, our target weight. Uh, we weighed this carton ahead of time and it was 431 0.7 grams. Um, now before you do an autodynamic calibration, you're going to want to make sure that you weigh the product on a static scale before you do so and make sure you run the product, the exact same product across the number of times that you check, tell the check weigher to. So after we enter our six pieces of information here, we go into autodynamic calibration. Before we run the samples across, our last step is to tell the check weigher our high and low limits. Anything under X amount will get rejected and anything over X amount will get rejected. Now that over amount is uh, it's toggable, meaning that you can accept or reject rejects. Uh, some customers don't mind giving away some product, but they want to make sure that they give enough. So you can choose whether or not you accept or reject um, overweight. So uh, the last step is going to be start autodynamic calibration here. You can run anywhere from one to ten samples across the check wire. We'll do six. We press start. We're gonna wait for the check wire to get ready. And right now it's waiting for the container. So I'm gonna run our samples across here. And this is where we're gonna get our min weight, max weight, standard deviation, um, average weight, um, just to know that we had a successful run. Okay, and our last sample is gonna go across here. Our, we were right, uh, right on par here. The machine ran very accurately. The most important thing to look at is uh, the standard deviation, which was 0.13. So uh, we quote all of our check wires at two sigma. So uh, if you're looking at that standard deviation, you're looking at about plus or minus uh, 260 milligrams on this specific carton at this weight and that speed. So the machine ran very accurately. Uh, the last step before you're ready to press start and run is to calibrate your reject. Uh, to do that, all you do is go into calibrate and reject and you press start and you set the delay from the amount from the time that the outfeed photo eye hits the reject and then the width is the amount of time that the reject blows for. Um, the check wire will be pretty close after you do an autodynamic calibration uh, but if you need to do any fine tuning you would do it in the uh, the reject setup there. So what we do now from there is we go back to the main menu we press start and we're ready to run the boxes of tea. Okay, so if your check wire is ever running inaccurately or you think there might be an issue, uh, before you panic, uh, there are some simple troubleshooting steps that you can take uh, to try and uh, fix whatever the problem is that you may be having. So as you can see, we do have a test menu on our check wire. And this test menu does a few things. You can check to make sure your lights are working. As you can see, this is a live scale. So if your check wire is running off weights, go into the test menu grab a, uh, a known weight, so I have a 100 gram weight here, put it on the scale and make sure it reads 100 grams. If it's reading off, you know, if it's, it was, that was 120 grams, I would know I'd probably have to recalibrate the scale. Um, another issue could be an in-feed or out-feed photo I might be blocked. So as you can see, we have in-feed sensor off, out-feed sensor off here. If I put my hand in front of the in-feed sensor, it lights up green. Same with the out-feed. Now, if you went into the test menu 
and you saw that one of these was green, you would know that the, one of the eyes is blocked, which is why you're going to be getting inaccurate readings on your scale. Um, so these are just a few pieces of information you can use to troubleshoot uh, the check wear if it's having an issue. Uh, the last one that I would say is check to make sure that your conveyors aren't touching. Make sure there's a proper gap between the in-feed and out-feed. The conveyors are rubbing up against one another. That's also going to provide an inaccurate reading. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please give us a call at 610-524-7350 or send us an email at info at allfill.com. Thank you.